Previously on Ox Venture, Egbert, what happened? Uh, a boiled sweet came out my throat and caused. That's right, it. Prudence. What happened? Yeah. Uh, we kicked over a vat of wine. Yes, Corazon. What happened? I was the best and strongest Corazon. <laughs> Meryl, when what happened? Uh, the town all thinks that the meat grinder was fine, and also I found poison. Okay, and also we went there, and now we're sol- trying to solve uh, the, the who's trying to kill the town. Poem, and poems, oh, are <laughs> poems are involved in some way. Yeah, Alfred's perfect. rage tried. Uh, to the water supply. <laughs> to the water <laughs> supply. You start walking toward the water supply. You're being led by Marisa, who goes, um, "Yeah, the water supply's just this way. Um, we're lucky enough to have a river running right by the town, so uh, we just draw the water straight from there." Really? Um, How long has that river been there? <laughs> Clap it in irons. Trees, decades. I'm decades. not sure. How convenient. Since before the town's founding, that's why we founded it here because it's I, useful. I she points the river to a millhouse. Okay. The uh, irons float off down the river. Yeah. <laughs> Those are my some, only irons. You throw <laughs> surprisingly <laughs> buoyant irons into yeah. the river. Um, <laughs> that merchant told me those are real iron. <laughs> um, she, uh, yeah, she points you to the river and says, here, here it is. Well, let's test the water for, for foulness. Yep. Mm. To start, Someone. Don't look Chris, at me, I'm not like... drinking it. The test. Okay, well, well let's boil I'll it again. Meryl, then you know, you know, you. you I'll have another sniff nature-y. and kind of like. Surely, you, there around. must be a druid power which is assess purity of water. That sounds su- like such a druid thing. You <laughs> must have to like make drink, make water potable out in the wild. What, like, no, I can just a... create water. Yes. That's, my, <laughs> that's why I did create that water magic. In my mouth. All right, so, create, yeah. create pure water, and then we'll put it next to this water and look at them. See if sure. I, can I can I just cut my hands into the water and pull some up and I just want to have a look at it. I just want to look at see how see how clear it looks. Give it a it's, sniff. It's pretty clear. Um, Wait, job. I'll keep it there. I let's I get out my spyglass and I look closer at the water. Look for okay. look for microbes. Can Does I see, see any, any microbes? microbes? <laughs> or is make it me, just cholera? Make me an intelligence investigation check. All right. But I warn you. It's a very good spyglass. That's a, a 10 plus Four plus three. So that's a seventeen. Uh, you do. I mean, you know what microbes are, and you are looking for them, and you don't see any. Uh, you do notice that Dob has managed to um, to dredge up a minnow, which is a freshwater fish. It seems fine. I clap it. I mean, it, okay. It, it now seems sad. Um, uh, it produces a tiny fish harmonica and starts oh. playing the blues. Uh, but it is it is in good health. Uh, the, the scales are seems... just this way heavy on it. <laughs> no. Yeah, you can, I'm, I'm having my inspiration back. No. Uh, <laughs> no, Fork it over. Um, um, this, I'm not sure if this water can be poisoned. It is sustaining this mm. fish. I say, and I hold this could be. Really. This could potentially be a, a dead end. <laughs> this fish is healthy enough to play the harmonica. <laughs> But I lived in a river. Keep making scales jokes. Does it know its scales? Oh God! The fish, the fish, the fish nice. dies because he no. took it out of the water for too long. Oh no! It that used all me. its that was oxygen playing the yeah. harmonica. <laughs> yeah. Good use of dying breath. Yeah. yeah. Could um, it be something underneath the underneath the area where the the event is happening, or I, I, all I can see in this poem, other than the the drink stuff, is about the high and high above and the. Yes, well, hang on, hang on. Leave us. We've assumed that high means like the sky, or right, could we be? Could we think a little lower than that? Like Is a tower, like a, or... a prominent hill. Yeah. Well, or, or the a, tallest. Yeah, tower. The tower of the, the castle. Scaffolding. The scaffolding built Alfred, around the castle. What is Alfred, it? what is it? Alfred. Hungry. Oh. oh. But this sounds good. Eat, eat no, this minnow. Eat this dead minnow. Yeah. <laughs> 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 there. I mean, there are lots of high places. There's the top of the. There's the top of the tower. There's that. The clock tower. Clock tower. Clock There's tower. The clock, clock tower. tower. Sounds like the place you'd have a secret evil hideout. Sounds like to the, the clock tower. To the clock tower. Batman cut. Here we are at the clock tower. You you walk in. It, it's. I mean, it was already. You know that kind of that that the way the quiet is is somehow amplified inside a church. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, but it's also the quiet mm. of like knowing that several people here died because of you. Um, you're like mm. Okay, interesting. It would be um, an ironic place to have your 
hideout for plotting. If 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 we think, I mean, yes. if they hate tower. us, they would put it at the scene of our greatest triumph. But so you're in the church now. The clock tower is obviously above mm-hmm. where Egbert scaled before. Mm-hmm. I didn't hear what you said there, Meryl, but I assume it was a terrible pun. Oh no no! I went. Oh, it's a triumph now. The Corazon grease part. called it a triumph. Oh, yeah. the grease part was a triumph, but then sadly, the tragedy of Meryl when spikes. Oh right 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 right. right, right, right. It's a two-act structure. Well, I know my way up the tower. Shall I pop up and have a look? Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe, maybe we should proceed cautiously because if this is the site of some kind of like attack on the town or something, yeah. if there's like a trap, we don't want to set it off or something, you know. Yeah. Oh, so Egbert, Egbert, Egbert gave a callous <laughs> shrug that said, "Yes, I do." Sure. So, <laughs> so. Whatever. It'll be the last thing they're expecting me to set off <laughs> yeah. every one of their traps. <laughs> I'm going to march up there and see what see what's what. Just as Egbert marches in the direction of the stairs, can I just look with my eyes and see if there are any very obvious traps? Uh, yeah, just make me an intelligence investigation check, please. Uh, oh, that's a five, but uh, plus seven, so twelve. Um, there is a tripwire um, on the <laughs> stair. <laughs> Egbert! <laughs> Egbert, no! oh, Egbert, stop! I, I die for Egbert's ankles. Okay, <laughs> make me a dex acrobatics check, please. <laughs> I'm going to try and bring him down before he hits. Not oh, wow. Him. Okay. So you are actually trying to tackle him. I'm trying to tackle him so that he doesn't, yeah, before he gets to the tripwire. Yeah. Okay. 14 plus, was Does it dex acrobatics? Really slow responses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, um, 19. Okay. Be so glad yes. it takes so long for those like neuro, neurons. <laughs> you know, yeah. I like one of those dinosaurs that has a secondary brain. Yeah, he's like in, yeah, in, in my the bum. bum. It is, it is <laughs> <laughs> That's the brain I'm going for. Okay. Great. Um, in that case, um, although if I grab Egbert's tail, is there a chance he'll release it if he thinks he's under attack? <laughs> release one. It'll just come off. <laughs> oh, the tail. Right. Yeah. Uh, it grows back. It's fine. <laughs> releases um, his bouts. <laughs> could you? Oh my god! Could you make me a deck saving throw, please, uh, Egbert, to keep your feet because you're being tackled on a staircase by a half orc? Some might say this is, it, it, in many Falls ways, more dangerous than whatever wire. the trap might be. <laughs> but uh, we're doing it. Critical twenty. Crit, 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 oh crit, crit. yeah. Crit, crit. Um, is is so... Egbert just going to drag us both into the trap? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm stuck with all Juggernaut Egbert. <laughs> Uh, for, so, crit, I, for a crit, I probably have already seen it and hopped over it. <laughs> so what happens is um, that uh, Dob leaps and grabs Egbert's ankles. Egbert immediately stops walking, stands still on the step, and with the momentum, Dob flips up and sort of hooks his knees over Egbert's shoulders. Egbert grabs his feet and hop, pulls him up onto his shoulders. And you both just oh. like, Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> very nice, just, very nice. Just like we practice. The heroes no. of big water. Um, there is Egbert. no crowd to pay you money for this. There's a trap, a trip okay. wire ahead of you. I look, I um, probably see the trip wire. I'd imagine. Yes, it is a trip wire um, that is attached to basically like a glass bottle, um, so that if it were tripped, it would bink, 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 make noise oh. on the stair and Wait alert you. any occupant hmm. to. Um, hmm. To their okay. presence. I see. I see. Uh, folks, okay. I think I think we're on the right track. If they've if they've booby trapped the stairs, yeah. Yeah. then they must They're be trying to hide there. something. Can I? Okay, I'd like to disable this tripwire. Prudence. Um, yes. Deck sleight of hand check, please. Is there a window like on the stairwell, stairwell that we're on? Are there like you know those little castly ones? Or yeah. Like, it... Yes. Yeah. That, mm, yes, there are little little tiny um, like peepholes. Um, they're not like arrow slits because this is a church, sure? but they are yes to ensure that people can see up the um, up the tower. There are also sconces with unlit torches. Um, the hour is the hour grows late. Um, you've got maybe half an hour of, of daylight left before um, <gasps> night falls, and uh, people start to gather for the festivities. Uh-oh. You've all you've all been present for a, a son's turn. You've got a few hours before the actual speech is due to take place. Like it's maybe a I was couple thinking... of hours. Prudence, do you fancy yep. like popping up the outside of the tower and spider climbing up and trying to peek oh, in the window? That, that's not where I thought you were going with that, but yes, I could do that. Let's do that. I was going to cast a, a clairvoyant sensor up the up the tower, but I could equally just spider climb. I'm just multi-purpose like that. A versatile warlock. Swiss army knife. Swiss um, army warlock. While yeah. you make up yeah. your mind, Corazon, how did you do on your roll? Uh, 22. Ooh, yeah. You, um... 
you 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 basically lean mm. into the the tripwire, whisper, stop mm. that, stop and just now. catch the bottle. Whoop. Like, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, very, all right. It's very cool. All right, I um open one of the windows mm-hmm. on the lower level of the clock tower. Clock tower? Yeah. And um, scurry out onto the wall uh-huh. and spider climb upwards uh, looking for a higher window to peek yeah. in through. Um, so there are basically, there are more little windows on the staircase. Uh, they kind of, you know, with the, the angle that they have tracking up, you know that they are just there to light the, the stair. And then there is kind of the open, the open bit of... Um, of the clock tower, like um, you, know, you remember, of course, the the, the famous uh, ballad of Assassin's Creed, um, mm. and how easy it is t- uh, to get into a clock tower if one is brave enough to scale the outside. Sure, it's sure, that sure, ex- sure, sure, it's sure. that exact thing. Okay. Um, uh, you sort of set your sights on the clock tower, and as you are coming up, um, uh, because I promise I did roll a twenty, <gasps> you see. Uh, you see movement out of the corner of your eye and down down in the street there are a lot of people still milling around but there's only one figure that is uh, in a dark cloak head to toe sprinting oh. into an alleyway nearby oh oh um i call back to my fellows on the ground so um, the thing about got, disabling booby traps we've got a runner is actually up very there good. on what? the ground someone watching us a runner right. A I want to okay. sneak in a cloak. I want to jump out the window and oh. like try and aim myself towards <laughs> like a flying squirrel. Corazon, yeah. feather for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, the papoose. I stretched the papoose out to form improvised an uh, improvised wingsuit. Um, <laughs> um okay. Alpha's strange tide does not fall. I catch him between my thighs. Does and- he? <laughs> Wow, I, okay, yeah, fine. I point in the direction. I see Dob sailing out of the window and I point after the yep. running sneaky sneak. Yes, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go across on a normal level like a person would. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good, yep. well, good luck getting there in time. They're I'm sprinting the okay. fast. I'm a very right. fast runner. Okay. Okie dokie. Um, so, uh, yeah, Dob, could you make me a... Uh, this is almost, a, almost certainly a dex acrobatics check. Some preposterous silk... Uh, Maneuver. That, uh, 19. Great. Okay. Um, and could you make me uh, either a strength athletics check, uh, Corazon, or a dex acrobatics, depending on how you're going? Um, Insouciantly, I assume. I'll go very dexterously, yes, because Great. of the modifiers. Um, so I will, that's a 16. Okay. Um, cool. Great. Um, it's like basically like. Corazon, as your feet kind of pound the cobbles, um, you you see, you hear like hushed voices being like, "There goes another one." It's like, He's good, that one. Look, and it's like, "Oh, I've seen this one earlier. He's going to be at the at the, the children's slide later on." Uh, people are very excited. You are. It looks like it's pretty cinematic. Like as you, yeah, as you sort of like Terminator to pump your <laughs> your hands by your sides. You're you're going in and out of shadow because you are basically racing the shadow. Of Dob, um, in, and Alfred cool. Strange Tide. Nice. Um, Dual pronged attack. Who is just giggling wildly, <laughs> <laughs> clamped, clamped between Dob's legs. Dob um, regurgitates some food into his mouth, or he'll be. <laughs> um, Corazon, if we pull this off, I'll regurgitate food into everyone's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna hold you to that big guy, I say with a wink. <laughs> That is the most cursed use of, I presume, message Dungeons and Dragons has ever seen. Um, no, I scream it as loud as I can. Oh, okay, great. The, it, perhaps it is that that, um, that puts off uh, your target, because uh, they turn to, to look over their shoulder while fleeing and uh, run straight into a pile of boxes yes. that are piled up in an alleyway and stack it into the floor. Results. Um, they are going to scrabble up and they keep, uh, they start running again, but you are now within striking distance, let's say. Well, okay. Strike them. Initiate strike protocol. Uh, um, I, fold the, I fold the papoose, I fold my arms down, uh, turning, my, turning my body into a spear uh, that, that, <laughs> that strikes out of the sky. Uh, I want to land square on the, the fleeing person. While okay, that's happening, I would like to throw um, some, a Bolas? length of, yes, a, like a bowler made of hemp and rope. At their legs. Uh, specify a length in feet, please. Uh, I don't know what lengths are. Ten feet. Sure. 
That's fine. <laughs> I, I'm, I just, too, I'm too busy running to think about feet. So yeah, fair so. enough. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah to be honest, to running, at, those, at those speeds, they've got to think for themselves. If you think hey. too much about it, you'll stack. Um, okay, um, then both of you make me some... You, that's definitely a dex check for you, Corazon, because it's a throwing attack. Um, oh, yeah. This is almost certainly an acrobatics check for you, Dob. Woo. And our fugitive is going to make a dex acrobat. Oh, wow. Never mind. Tw- uh, 21, oh, okay. baby. Okay, um... um so, um, we'll st- we'll start off with Corazon. Corazon throws this this rope, which kind of expertly knotted, kind of <laughs> spins out in the uh, in the alleyway and catches the assailant around the knees. They start to stumble. They're barely keeping their balance. And then Dob. Uh, um, well, what did I roll? I rolled a fourteen. Okay. Um, brains the, the the assailant on the back of the head with Alfred Strange type. Oh. <laughs> it's basically like, you know, he's sort of just hanging, be like, well, Wee! yeah, he's still between the knees. So I get, I don't yeah, guess yeah, I didn't yeah. quite stick the angle, but Strange side basically nuts this stranger in the back of the head. Mm. Um, so you kind of land somewhat gracefully in a heap, uh, and you just hear like the lo- the slow build of just. Uh... From, uh, don't, from the strange don't, side. Don't give them attention. There. Sometimes they won't actually start crying if you don't make eye contact with them. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah. like, so, you know. <laughs> we all look around. <laughs> Unfortunately, your, um, your, your captive did not get the memo and looks up to see what the noise oh. is. And he sees him go, ah! <laughs> oh, he's, he's giving it both barrels now. He's just, like, kicking. <laughs> And then right. screaming. How's that how's that fantasy escapism working for you, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to haul haul this person up onto their feet, grab them by the lapels and slam them against the wall. And I say, Listen up What's what's going on here? And then I look at them and see what they are. Okay, um, the vast majority of the information you, you need is is clenched between your two fists because you see uh, a tattered, worn, and familiar tabard. Oh. Um, it is um, a sort of paladin's overcoat with uh, a device, which is a set of lips with a finger mm. placed over them. And you see the guy's kind of there, like, oh! and he just goes and points down. And you see there is a small pocket. There's actually a small bag of like scrolls. He's like, Let's let's read this. I, I pull out the first scroll. Um, it's a shopping <laughs> list. Uh, he's I, he's well, out of milk, and uh, he wants um, cabbage, and then uh, it says potatoes brackets the the flowery kind. <laughs> Dob, I think this is how they they talk. They pull out scrolls for what they want to say, rather mm-hmm. than you can't just read their scrolls out of order. <laughs> also, if he wants to stay quiet, he shouldn't eat cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, also okay. on the list is um, f- fart meds. <laughs> it's he's, he's... Underlined twice. <laughs> yeah. Fart meds. Yeah. Brackets important. <laughs> Brackets extra strength. <laughs> um, okay. I I remove my hands from the lapels, but at the same time, I also draw my rapier. No pistol. Hmm. Okay. Spicy. Ooh. Didn't even know he had a pistol. <laughs> yeah, we've just got a lot of things you don't know about, Dob. Well, you don't know I've got on me. Fill a book. I've also got a book. <laughs> <laughs> While this happens, I should be probably poking around the top of the tower to see what they've kind of abandoned. Whether the, yes. Whether there yeah. was any... Well, I yeah. was thinking we could we could bring this prisoner back to Egbert so that Egbert could could, could use command. Yes, he yeah. could use his paladin. Ooh, he, he could use powers. a paladin spell and the, and the command and, could be speak. Mm. Yes, I mean, what what a what a festive treat, Egbert using one of his paladin powers. <laughs> <laughs> Is it that time of We'll year? see how I um, feel. It's when, a sun's turn miracle. Happens. Yeah. All right, let's walk him. Let's walk him back in a headlock or something. <laughs> I the whole time have just been like, I just watched it kind of happen through the window, mm-hmm. and <laughs> I just saw like Dob just like disappear, and then I just heard a like it was that loud that we all heard it. We're like. Ooh. Yeah, it sounded like um, 
it sounded like uh, one of the famous refrains of, of the bard Phil Collins. Okay, sure. Um, yeah, in short order, you um, you cart the um, the the disgraced paladin up to um, up to the clock tower. Um, in the meantime, Egbert, you have found um, that the uh, the clock tower has a very commanding view of the castle of Inkwater mm-hmm. and the kind of wooden platform that has been uh, put up for the mayor's speech. Um, there is um, a very large, ornate, not ornate, but like complicated, it's kind of like a compound bow, um, very, like a clearly very high power instrument with a quiver of arrows. Um, and next to the quiver of arrows is a scroll. I will have a look at the scroll. It has a, uh, a, a short verse on it, funnily enough. Um, I should say that the the hour is is getting on now, and people are starting to gather. Um, mm-hmm. Some are asking confusedly about the wine, and other people are telling about telling them about this amazing uh, promenade theatrical performance they saw earlier. Uh, the verse says, "You found my little hidey hole. A pity, don't you know? I longed to shoot the mayor dead with my most favourite bow. Never mind, and all the same, I'm going to have my way." As sure as sweet Marisa wants to have her little say. Oh. Oh, oh. It's just one step well, we ahead of us every single time. Having mm-hmm. a say is the thing that the Order hates the most. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, there's clear, yeah, there's clear motive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if they've written a poem about us stopping them from doing it, they must have been expecting it, right? That means well, must, I think maybe it's there a, are further traps. I think it's a backup. They've got another like kind of Triple backup contingency. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Second uh, shooter. I what? checked the grassy knolls. I'm gonna interrogate. Can I? Uh, can I have a quick look down below where the bow is? And if it's safe, I just want to kick this thing off the tower so it's smashed to bits. Just in case. Uh, yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it is safe. You kind of nudge the bow off the mm-hmm. um, off the the <laughs> clock tower. No loot for Meryl when. <laughs> <laughs> it's like um, legendary bow. Uh, it's, a purple, it's a purple drop. Are the arrows any good? You can. The arrows are really good. Yeah, okay, I take the arrows. Yeah, the arrows, the arrows are, are like. Uh, let's say, sorry, why not? There's a quiver of twelve, and they all do plus four damage. <gasps> Whoa, Present. nice. Sweet. You're welcome. Merry um, meanwhile, Winterless. you hear a kind of plunk a dunk Merry on Christmas. the. On the uh, very good, you hear a plunk a dunk dunk from the cobbles below, and then you hear a child's voice go, "Cool, a bow!" Um, and then you hear drop. feet running off. Uh, oh, and you, you can't be certain, but you don't think the bow broke. Uh, but oh well, it's it's certainly gone now. Very um, terrible. Oh, well. It's almost almost like it was going to be really good loot. Um, <laughs> but uh, oh well. Um, at this point, <laughs> you look over and see a pair of ornate cutlasses. You kick them off as well. <laughs> Imagining the bow in like a golden spotlight. Like, <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Yes. A magic loot? <laughs> that can go off out the window. <laughs> so as we get back to the clock tower, uh, ten got ways the prisoner... to achieve atonement. <laughs> <laughs> get I see out of here! I see uh, Egbert presumably setting fire clearly... to a violin. <laughs> yeah. materialism, materialism is clearly a bad thing. So uh, you well, know. quite. Prudence, did you say you wanted to interrogate the prisoner? Yes, please. So yes, you've you've arrived with the, with this paladin who is sitting there. All right, time to All a right. chair. You thought you thought that I was bad. Well, let yeah. me introduce you to bad cop. That's hey. right. It's prudence. I That's, tie the I tie the, the person to a chair with yeah, tie uh, to a chair. Sailor with a chair, uh, with its, But with I've, its... that the arms are tied to the side, but uh-huh. the hands are able to reach into the scroll pocket. Oh, okay, 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 cool. I grab him by his tabard and dangle him backwards in the chair over the edge of the tower. Whoa. Yeah, scary, isn't it? He, oh. You see him, like, Quiet very terror. carefully. He just <laughs> grabs a piece of parchment and, like, fro- reaches across with his hand and gets a dip pen out. It's like... Yeah, you better. Eh, eh. And then he kind of looking around goes. He looks he, he looks terrified to be doing this and quite Good. apologetic, but he pushes the piece of parchment against your stomach, having nothing else to press on, <laughs> and writes slowly writes with his dip pen and then just turns it around, and it is just a series of A's and a single H <laughs> and an exclamation mark. You're right to scream. 
for I'm the most fearsome of the ox venturers. Uh, Egbert, can you cast com- command on on this on this chap or something? Could we speed? Oh, uh, the pre- it's this is Prudence's. This is Christmas my present. I know, I know, but I, <laughs> but Egbert. Let's but let her do Prudence a thing. See what, the... see what she comes up with. <laughs> okay. Uh, yep. Sorry. Uh, okay. Well, I tilt him further back. I just let give him a little. Sh- uh, I let go of a little bit more of the tabard, so the chair tilts even further backwards. He puts the parchment on his chest and underlines at <laughs> twice. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, it gives me life, and I say, "Where's, where's, where's the third? Where's the third thing? What's the, what, what next? How else, how else are you going to assassinate Marissa, the mayor? Kill the Victor? townspeople as well. That's yeah, the, that's end game. He pulls out a little pre-written scroll and unfurls oh, it and holds that's... it up for you to read. He doesn't oh, hand okay. it to you. That's convenient. All right, um, um, I, I pass it to uh, Egbert. Okay. Um, so I don't let go of his tabard. <laughs> thank you. I'll read it. Uh, it says, If you read this, I have been caught, and that's a frightful bore. Yet only for a moment, more treats there are in store. Okay, so there's more. There's more of you, is that right? And then I, I look, look at him. No. Okay. No, it's just him. Is, mm, can, we trust, can we trust this shady paladin? That, that they're acting alone. They seem terrified, so... Well, oh. Egbert... Command. Hit him, hit Command. him with that zone Speak of truth. truth. All yeah, right, I'm truth. gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the one-two punch, which is I'm gonna cast a zone of truth. Yeah. And then I'm also <laughs> gonna punch gonna... him off the tower. No, no, yeah. <laughs> kick him off the tower. <laughs> hit him with a one-two uh, punch. <laughs> I'm gonna cast zone of truth. Uh, yeah. I'm also yeah, then one, one. going to use command and use the word confess. Oh man. Nice. Egbert using paladin powers is my Christmas present. Aww. <laughs> We're all getting what we want this son's turn. It's a wow. Christmas Sorry. saving throw. <laughs> um, it's charisma saving throw. Obviously no, Meryl, when everyone's getting what they okay. want. Charisma saving throw. <laughs> yep. Uh, what's the DC? Uh, uh, 14. Missed by one. Um, he pulls out a new piece of parchment and dips his pen, and then it's like, he looks at Prudence, kind of points into the clock tower, being like... What are you saying? I, I tilt him so he's on two chair legs. <laughs> he, um, he, he's. I mean, I guess he was on two already. You get the, so. You get the feeling that he is indicating that he would quite like to write this message inside the clock tower because he's afraid <laughs> that if he presses parchment against your stomach one more time, you might drop him. No, oh, I, I bet he would. All right, fine. I haul him by his tabard violently back up onto the top <laughs> clock tower. He gives a very loud sigh and then winces. He's like, oh, <gasps> shh. Um, he start. Right. He just st- starts writing. Yeah, let's see. It. Um, uh, and he starts handing you bits of paper as he goes. Uh, the first piece of paper says, uh, first of all, it's very unfair that you're making me do this so quickly. It takes time to come up with a good rhyme, you know." Poet <laughs> um, oh, as well. And then, what's the line that rhymes with that afterwards? Yeah. Uh, uh, he, he, <laughs> you see him wince as he writes, and don't I? No, wait, no. It has to run. No, he doesn't have time. Scan. He doesn't have time. Um, I he am writes, big pentameter. Oh, um, uh, I have a lot of information you would like to know. No, that's a no-no no rhyme. Right. I know. Like. Or I would like to show. Uh, he doesn't. He doesn't rhyme that one. He starts off a new one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Prudence, who already hates um, poets, is getting <laughs> furious with impatience. Uh, Swear to God, if I'm this furious. is dactylic or anapestic pentameter, oh. you're going he off writes, this tower. My least favourite pentameter. He writes, the order, the, the order you defeated in the past, of that order, once I... He seems to write, was a part, and he hands it over knowing he's failed at the second line of my half, pentameter. Damn half it. rhyme is legit, it's fine. Uh, well, but it doesn't, doesn't scan. Um, well, did you look at this half rhyme? And he, I confess, he confesses um, to of being a part Dear of the order. God. He then writes, um, uh, A quiet place of beauty this town was, and now I hate it uh, solely and because, nice. and then he writes in brackets underneath, of you. Um, LAUGHTER <laughs> And basically, oh, it, like we'll montage the rest of this because my head is starting to hurt. Sure. And um, but he 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 writes more uh, 
terrible verse about how basically the the order has fallen into disarray as far as he's aware he is the only surviving member and he has sworn an oath of vengeance against ink water um and it will again become quiet uh and then he kind of like does a weird smirk and is like Brackets, oh, because they'll all be dead. He's uh, done something to the water somehow. Expertly making, expertly making the um, the uh, subtext into text. I fish around in his mouth for a cyanide pill. Uh, uh, you've actually find one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anything right. else good in there, dog? <laughs> um, Any other loot? <laughs> Bald sweet, uh, maybe. Uh, I remove the cyanide pill. Replace it with one of these bald sweets. From Egbert's tummy. Yeah, to show that we are capable of immense kindness. Uh, okay. The sweetness will turn his heart. Watch. Has the sweetness turned his heart? He gets a. He dips his pen and just writes, ick, 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 tastes like sick. I've got a cunning plan. <laughs> What's your I don't cunning know much plan? about poetry, but I know what I like. <laughs> we, need to, we need to make him break his oath of silence. Let's yeah. take him to the tickle pit. No one can resist the tickle pit. Of course. And then, once he's broken his oath of silence, he'll have in to for give a penny, up. in for a pound, he'll have to yep. give up. He'll have to give he up. can't be a member of the order anymore, and yep. he won't want to carry out their aims. To the have... tickle pit! Oh, he's shaking his head. That yep. means he hates it most tickle of all. Pit. Tickle, tickle pit. pit. Tickle pit. Tickle pit. He can do tickle the grease slide pit. if he likes as well. Tickle yeah, pit. He has, to do the, he has to do the grease slide. We've got to part do the whole thing. theatre of it. It's tradition. Off we go, please. Um. Okay. Uh, you start to take him uh, toward the tickle pit, which is, uh, as you know, right outside the church. He starts, like, thrashing <laughs> in the chair as you carry him down the stairs. Um, when you get there, uh, you discover that Carl is is sort of standing and swaying um, Bill. liberally in, in the non-existent Bill, Bill in the role. Carl. Bill, sorry. Yeah, Bill, yes. Carl. Sorry, Bill, Carl. Bill, Billson. Yep. Um He's looking around, hopefully, thinking that perhaps you forgot to turn up, Corazon, and he can resume his, his duty. Well, but there well, is already... Who's executive producing this ride, if you're here? <laughs> oh, you're here. I'm back to the barn. Yeah. He totters off again. <laughs> um, there is a, a throng of children. Um, they are all, like, milling around excitedly. You can already Aww. see there's a Merrill and cosplayer at the end um, arranging, like, a tickle pit with, yeah. like, some kids who, who, who want to just pass the time tickling... Uh, those who did not keep their feet until it is their turn. There is also uh, nearby an ornamental uh, fountain shaped like a dragonborn, uh, which is just spewing forth an endless stream of uh, fruit punch. <laughs> and there are kids running up and being like, yay! Unk! And just getting hopped up on sugar. Wow. Mm. Um, it's not poisoned. Good. Because Good. Even that's better. too far even for me. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Kids, yeah, orphan. Kids, <laughs> the pirates <laughs> here. Whoa. The pirates ready to start the party. Whoa. We've got someone who claims they're not ticklish. Uh -oh. What do you say to that, kids? Whoa. Look, it's one of the paladins. Oh. Boo. 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 Better tickle them until they laugh. Yeah, <laughs> but we know what to do with paladins here in Inkwater, don't we, kids? Yeah. yeah. And then I boot him down the grease slide. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you do, the kids all as one in one voice yell, Merry Christmas! Yeah! Um, <laughs> the paladin does not keep his feet. Hooray! Um, he just bonk, uh, slides into the tickle pit and is kind of just covered over. Um, uh, and is being tickled by like approximately 20% of the population of Inkwater. <laughs> and he's rolled a one. Uh, he, he, <laughs> he starts screaming so loud, and his voice is so harsh from years of not having been used that half of the children actually run away and start <laughs> eating. They're like, mm. Strange Tide is, is like. He's fidgeting in the papoose. You can tell he's not sure whether or not he wants to kick off about this. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't look at him. Don't look at him. But uh, needless to say, it seems it seems like yes, the paladin has broken his vow of silence. <laughs> yeah! Amazing. <laughs> now, kids, what do we want from the paladin? Confession. Oh, I yeah, thought you were going to say the, ca the candy in his stomach. <laughs> 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 no, 
Oh, kids, no! No! <laughs> is this a palladiniata? No, no, no. Oh, it's no, this no, one. no. Not this oh. one, kids. Put down They're those... coming down later, though. Wicked Good. knives that you've produced. <laughs> now, does Ooh. this naughty paladin... They fold the blades back in. <laughs> <laughs> does this naughty paladin have anything they'd like to say? And I just lean over and go, keep it clean, keep it clean. <laughs> You're all going to die. <sighs> Keep it we light don't want also. to, though. This so, again. Yeah. Look, we foiled your scheme. You may as well tell us how to stop the plan that's going to kill the town. You were at least temporarily the loudest thing in this town. Yeah. <sighs> you, you foiled me and you've disgraced me from my order. But that doesn't mean you've won. I don't want to tell you what else I've done. What else? Okay. So he's got some other things. No, that's not what I meant. Oh, I mean, clearly yeah. he's got something else going on <laughs> that's going to kill the whole town. You let it slip, mate. We need oh. to figure out what it is. Can, can we not get him to tell us with magic? Uh, I don't know. Go so so back in talking... the tickle pit if, if you don't <gasps> confess. <gasps> could you not just kill me? No. no. I mean, obviously oh. we tickle could. Tickle pit or nothing. But... <laughs> That's not oh, it would be fun if you want to die. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, don't whatever you do, kill me. Uh, don't know, reverse psychology doesn't work on me, Paladin. You think it's so yeah, smart? Yeah, me either. I say. <laughs> yeah. I've got a wisdom rating of minus one, so <laughs> no, 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 pulling the wool over my eyes. If it doesn't work, why don't you do it then? Look, this guy. All right, you ca- you guys can keep working okay, this guy over. Smart. I'm gonna go and check the mayor's. Like, I want to. Yeah, I want to head over or... and check. The, it's got to be something, some sort of booby trap or some sort of bomb or something in the main square. Because yeah. if the okay. water's clean, then I don't know, um, there's got to be something. So Meryl, Len and Corazon, are you running off to check the platform? Yeah. yeah. Uh, just make me an in- intelligence investigation check. A lot of, lot of whole, a whole lot of montage <laughs> into this, but it's fine. To the platform! Uh, I mean, it takes a while for the paladin to be tickled until he screams again. He's trying to maintain his resolve. Got a sixteen. Mm-hmm. Eighteen. Um Marilyn, you s- basically you, you get onto the parapet and uh, the wooden platform because obviously, you know, the the parapet of the castle is a lot of um you know, like notches and one person standing there with a wall up to here and wall here and here, isn't that inspiring? They've made this platform so the mayor can come and speak to everybody hanging over uh, the ground below. You you lean out, Marilyn, from the parapet, and you see that the struts have clearly been sawn almost entirely through. Wow! Uh, you send Corazon. You I you notify Corazon, who like coolly repels down and like swings across and grabs hold of a piece of stone and checks. It's like yeah, these are these are booby trap struts, all right. And then yeah. hanging down from one of the planks, you see a little tiny scroll. Um. <gasps> And it says, how very clever of you all. You found my little perch, but time is short. And on my side, in quarters in the lurch, is this gloating verse. My gosh. But maybe this note assumes we didn't find all the others. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Could we only have discovered them in this order? I'm trying to figure out. Can I just fix these struts somehow? Do they look fixable? Uh, yes. Alright, let me just do um, that real quick. Um, you can prise out a couple of the boards and sort of try and just nail the struts mm. back together. I'm, um, yeah, I feel like I should be pretty proficient at this, having done repairs on my ships. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, or at least watch some other people maintain your ship. <laughs> <laughs> Delegate it. We all have to muck in. I've seen my I've seen my father shipwright do this loads of times. <laughs> um, supervising with a chilled grog. <laughs> just make me um, make me a what would this be? To mend a thing. I just make me a uh, just make me a strength check. Ooh. This isn't a particularly delicate operation. It's brute force. That's a fifteen plus one sixteen. Uh, yeah, it's this. She'll hold all right. Um, nice. You, you make a mental note to check that Marisa's speech doesn't involve any sort of like raucous yeah. jumping up and down or <laughs> this or bad boy like can that. hold so many mares. <laughs> <laughs> um, Certified up to ten mares. So yes, you're you're up there. Meanwhile, uh, the paladin is is sort of screaming again in the tickle pit. Have you had enough? 
<laughs> You're thirsty for more. <laughs> All right, confess, or I'll let them tickle you again. <gasps> confess, and I'll give you the sweet release of death. <laughs> <laughs> What have you found so far? Everything. Well, we found a perch. I, I, I can see the platform, so I'm inferring from what I can see down on the ground. We found your bloody wooden sabotage. Good we found one. The bow up on the clock tower. The poison what have you done wine. With it? Oh, we smashed it. What? No one wanted it, so we smashed it on the ground. It was really valuable. Yeah, but no one likes bows here, so we smashed it. Yeah. And then... None of us are bow users. <laughs> and then we uh, tipped your poisoned wine down the drain. <gasps> Anything else? What else you got? What else you got? Or it's more tickles for you. Oh, that smile. Oh. Speak um, now. I reckon it's the paladin Yata's. He repeats, um, from high above the people's heads. Good. And deep below their feet. He's in the sewers! Some in the sewers! Um, and you see him just kind of look meaningfully over toward the castle. Uh, Alright, let's head down to the dungeon. The pit! The, the pit! The, the Wait, you can't hear any pit. of this, Merylwen. You're not there. I know. I, brought, I used <laughs> message to broadcast the last verse. Thank what you. we assume is the last verse up to the castle platform where Corazon and Merylwen are. So I, I send that... them it, so now they know it. I get, I get a, a nearby Ooh. torch Ooh. from a sconce. I look and, up at and those And I like wave, semaphore. being like, smoke signal going to the pit. All right. Here, well, Oscar Mike to the castle. I don't care for poetry myself, but Merylwen thinks we ought to go to the pit below the castle. If this is another owlbear, you guys really need to get a new thing. Yeah. All right. I guess we'll regroup with the others at the castle. Okay. With the Fair paladin. Right. No, let's, front. let's let's just, no, let's um, drag him behind us on fifty feet of hemp and rope in case there's something to feed him to. I was thinking just push him back the into the back into the tickle pit. Someone else. No, wants to we, we need pit. to supervise the kids him. Come on. Have a fun time sliding down the grease yeah. slide. They want to um, get tickled too. Fair enough. Okay, so you start. Yeah, you start heading toward the castle. Um, I'm trying to sneak around, but I'm dummy thick. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, you make it to the castle and um, just make me a wisdom perception check. Actually, well, you make it to the pit. It's actually, it's really not hard to see. The pit is absolutely full of uh, bales of straw and barrels of pitch and just generally oh. full of, of, um, of flammables. Um, and leading off from the pit are... Um, Several little little tunnels that were not there previously, but appear to have been dug off the pit hmm. underneath the foundations of the castle. Oh, oh man! Um, the paladin the sees thing. that and he's like, "Okay, so this is whatever goes off here is mm. going to go off through those tunnels as mm. well." They're fire I tunnels. Think. They're going to okay. go forks yeah. the whole situation but there must be so, some remote mechanism for setting it off otherwise he wouldn't have been quite so smug would he so is there a timer or some sort of a fuse or something fuse? well what i would like to do so, so what what is the stuff that's <laughs> i here? slap him upside the head because yeah, i'm that's, very aggravated by that's this fair yeah. <laughs> he spits a okay. tooth out yeah so, so, so i guess that came from <laughs> yes teeth i uh, mean yeah it's about 20 odd. Nice. <laughs> okay. Um, what were you going to say, Marilyn, about the pit? It, it's mo so it's mostly like straw and like kind of like gunpowdery. It's all like dry stuff. Mm -hmm. It's all dry stuff, clearly made to, to form uh, fire. Um, okay. I yeah. would like <laughs> that was the most redundant thing I've ever said. <laughs> um, does anyone like, a very venture... particular fast explosion is what you're going for. Um, make me a, an intelligence investigation roll, actually. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, 13. Okay. Um, you have spent enough time around forests to know that sometimes when a forest is becoming very, like, uh, where the soil is, is you know, uh, devoid of any nutrients and anymore, and the, a lot of the trees are dead, the best way to rejuvenate the area is to have a controlled fire. Um, some elves do this in order to keep, you know, uh, keep the, the forest healthy. Um, and... This is all stuff that is kind of designed to burn in the same way. There are no explosives here, but this is all very dry stuff that is designed to burn very hot and very fast. Um, 
looking in the tunnels, you see that these tunnels are also packed with this material uh, and that they are held up by wooden struts. So, uh, so he's built tunnels, and, then the tunnels built, and everything will collapse in the, the town. Okay, okay. What I would like to do is uh, cast Create Water, which will basically create a kind of cube of rain over all the dry material so that it's less likely to burn just before we step in in case he's got a match in his sleeve or anything. Okay. Um, very good. Uh, you dampen all of the stuff and you see like before the paladin was like mm, and then he goes mm. <laughs> starts looking <laughs> sulky. Um, Someone wants another go in the tickle pit I think. <laughs> you see you see, Alfred Strange like, gets excited. <laughs> Um, he was he was noticing that the paladin looked sad. He was trying to offer him a rusk, but at the very mention of the tickle pit, he's off again. He's just kicked <laughs> out. Yeah. Later, Aww. Alfred. <laughs> he gets out his thesis and starts editing a chapter. <laughs> From one of the tunnels, because there's quite a lot of water um, now, thanks to Marilyn, floats a little tiny scroll. <laughs> oh, no. Um, oh, no. And the, Another clue. The paladin kind of rolls his eyes at this. He's like, great, because. Uh, this one's not going to make sense anymore. Um, uh, it says, You foiled another of my plots. Another bit of fun. But danger's all around you still. Perhaps you ought to run. Um, should should we run, Paladin? Let's try. Scroll. I, like, I, I think look at the Paladin and I say, I say uh, should, should we be running now? Is it, is because, it happening because, now? Is the thing happening? Because, Paladin, you, you've written here, yeah, run. Run. So but nothing seems to be unless your plan has been completely and humiliatingly he, foiled. He goes <laughs> and counts down from three on his fingers, and then you hear a a small smashing noise followed by a. Tss. Ah. There you go. <laughs> oh dear. That was your fuse. Right, have we um, saved the day, or is there anything else, Paladin <laughs> Buddy? <laughs> right, any, he, anything else we have we done here? Clock off for the yeah, I mean it's he, it's about to be wintermas, so I'm. He gets know. his pen out and writes, "Well, you got me," and and underlines it and holds Hooray! it up. Hey, we got you. Good. Sun's um, turn for a protracted turn. trial, and uh, <laughs> you start to hear. Um, from the, the town, um, while you were investigating this last tunnel, uh, P.S., um, with the platform safe from which to speak, Marisa has been making the um, the annual address. Um, and clearly the speech is at an end because you can hear people chanting, uh, Paladinata! Dinata! Um, yeah. As the, uh, the, the grease slide seems to be ramping up. Um, <laughs> I'm going to make, make myself me... scarce. Uh, Corazon, you, you've oh. been reading out the scrolls. Um, just make me a wisdom perception check. Uh, that's a 15 plus 2 uh, plus 3, so 20. You notice that on the note, well, you got me, uh, the word well <gasps> is clearly written in uh, italics. Oh. Uh, hang on. Hang on, it says the word well is different is written differently and there's like emphasis on the word well. It might be a it might be a secret extra trap. Even more traps? Oh no, a bonus trap. Um, this town is more Alpha traps Strange than not traps. Goes, But there isn't a well. It perhaps that was just sarcastic emphasis. Well well. Like, well. <laughs> like well. well, you got me. I mean I mean maybe but, but can we take uh, that uh, chance? They're not. They're not paladin yachters. They're not. They're other paladins. Oh no! The <gasps> they're gonna be yes. just. A, but he's been trying to say that it's just him. But they're all real paladins, and they're oh gonna break out and attack them. God! Ah. You see, you see him like grinning as you kind of realise that he's not done. Uh, although you do notice when Marilyn suggests that they're real paladins and might come to life, he does quirk an eyebrow a bit. <laughs> 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 <You're> like, <laughs> <laughs> no, got, all right, they're explosive. We, there's something. There's something. There's something. They're definitely something. We yeah. can. We we can. Quick all, to well, the town square. The there's no time. To, there's, there's no okay. time to right. spare except right. for the time I'm going to take to kick this paladin in the crotch. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was going to go for a punch with the face, but I prefer yours. Mm. Can we, well, we can do yeah. both. He's got both. Yeah. Yeah. Should we do it in unison? Yeah. Oh. 
Okay, yeah, simultaneously. All right, three, two, one. <laughs> on, no, if we all stick our feet oh. out, we can walk the paladin along the line. Yeah, run him along the feet. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay, everyone make me a strength check. Yeah. Can't believe I'm part of this. Okay. Uh, 18. 18 also. Oh, five. Uh, okay, 14. Wait, wait, wait. 18 okay. plus. Oh, wait, no, not five. Hang on. Four is 22. Yeah, <laughs> well, I think Egg somebody should be at clean off, I think, probably. <laughs> Egg Bert, Egg Bert should off. be the one to, to run the paladin along the line. Yeah, he gets okay. the motion going. Yeah, so yeah like... Egbert first. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, Prudence just gives him a pat on the butt, like, like whacks him on the bum as he goes past. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah, Egbert just absolutely, like, <laughs> sends him with one <laughs> final kick in the crotch. Um you don't know what shape he's going to land in. Well, uh, you don't know how he's going to be when he lands, but he's not clearly not having a great day. You hear him scream, breaking his vow for a third time in one day, as uh, you send him off into uh, another part of Inkwater. Towards the Tickle Pit, no doubt. Toward, well, uh, speaking of said Tickle Pit, is that where you were heading? Uh, yeah, we got yeah, to get run, run to where the Paladin, the paladin, the paladin yards yards are. are. It was okay. sort of our job, I think, to take the Paladinatus to the tickle pit. Did we ever know where oh. they were being stored? Oh, yeah, that's a good point. They were being stored in uh, the, one of the rooms in the church. Okay. 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 So right. everyone's kind of chanting, chanting for them to be out. We had to distract Paladinata. people. Paladinata. Dinyata. Yeah, we okay. have to distract people and carry yeah. the paladinatas. Egbert, quickly right, run I, out there and say you're the pa- paladinata and let them wail on I, you for a bit. While no, we... <laughs> I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run in. Okay, and I'm gonna blow their minds. I'm gonna do some wild shape. Okay, and uh, like, like magic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it, it's a hit at these things. I know it's cheap, <laughs> very easy to do, but you know, just just. Confuse is them. That, that's it's all is you that know. Better than the, letting them wail on Egbert's plan. I mean, that's who's the support for the Egbert wailing. Yeah, well, he's you know, he's not he's not a bad paladin order. He's not. These are these are weird paladin. I, I don't paladin also, to get mixed up also like it? just let's be real. Is anyone going to think Egbert's a paladin? <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, got the outfit. he's wearing a paladin armor and such. I'm going to assume that you were having this conversation while sprinting. Well, at yeah, while sprinting. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to yeah, yeah. go. I want to go find the the the, the paladin yatas. Yeah, where are they? Okay, where are they? Well, you are running toward the church where you know they are stored. Um, but as you uh, you get the church in sight, you realise that um, the people have taken matters into their own hands. <gasps> Um, you oh, see no. Bill holding a paladin yata oh, no. over his head, going, "I found them!" No, um, no, and he sweet Bill. puts it at the top of the <laughs> uh, the grease trap, and he just goes, "Merry <laughs> Christmas!" and curls back an arm uh. and just poof, starts to send it down the hill. So as you emerge, you're like, Rrr. "We have to stop that." Because the greased-up paladin yata is now around the uh, the, the greased-up <laughs> hill, uh, we... onto which rows and rows of spikes have been placed to basically to, to tear the paladin yata open and let everyone eat um, eat the the sweeties inside. Uh, the paladin is there, like uh, it's a big papier mâché paladin. Meryl, um, when as the papier mâché paladin slides down, use your new bow to shoot it out at the. Oh no, wait, <laughs> <laughs> no. What I'm going to try and do is cast uh, Thorn Whip to grab it before it reaches the spikes. Cool. Sick. I would okay. like to as- as- assist the Thorn Whip with a mage hand. Yes, please. Just double okay. strength. Just to, um, yeah. Okay. So, Marowan, that's dex. Um, mm-hmm. And I think you're proficient in the... Oh, no, it's a s- spell, isn't it? It's not just it's a, a whip. Spell. It's Sorry. a spell. Yeah. Mate, do, me, do me a Thorn Whip. Um, That's incredibly and cool. Make me a, just make me a dex check, uh, Corazon, for uh, the for the mage hand. I know it is just a spell, but like just to see how well you support. Mm-hmm. It's an eight. Oh. <laughs> Meryl win. Well, I know it's a spell, so spell save DC is fifteen, so I don't have to worry about rolling. Oh, of course, yeah. Uh, that's a seven. Okay. Oh. It just My- does a, like an encouraging thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> That's the fun. Go, Mel. <laughs> you, you go like, and yeah, Corazon's like, hey. Um, uh, you 
don't manage to grab hold of uh, oh, the Paladinata. No. You do score a line in the back of its head, mm. and you see just black powder start to p- oh. spill out. Yeah. Already, you know, some people are like, "Hooray!" and they start running forward uh, <laughs> without even paying attention. Like, like grown grown men and women, like people who should really know better, just start cramming black powder in their mouths. Oh, and like, oh, oh, disgusting! Oh, 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 oh. Um, the, pal- the Paladiniata continues to slide. It is I- now about a third of the way down the- toward the tickle pit, um, and th- very shortly will reach the spikes. I think this. Okay. Right, I think this should work. I-, I would like to cast Featherfall on the Paladiniata to slow its descent. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Yes. Okay, so you cast Featherfall on the Paladiniata, which, according to D and D Beyond, means its rate of descent is slowed to a mere sixty feet per round. <laughs> Uh, so it is still oh, travelling at 10 feet per second but it was travelling how fast was it going before? <laughs> a lot faster it accelerated it like they play hard at Greasemus yeah, in well. uh, in yeah. okay um, I would okay. like to slide down after it if I can oh, wow. trying try to keep my feet and try and cast um, create water again on this one to try and dampen it okay so alright but you know you know what happens if you don't keep your feet. Merle yeah, went, I'm going to get tickled and, and end up in the explosion pit. Merle. So Merle yeah, went, yeah. I know that the now that you're tickling of all. now you're on the slide. This is the worst idea ever. But like, could you cast spike growth on roots to grab the pinata? Like, like, well, they've already put spikes place. down. I don't need to cast. They, they've got spikes there, and it's when it hits the spikes, it's going to. This is accurate. Um, okay. okay, so I that's say, actually before before, before, before doing... I leap before I leap. Uh, I would like to tie some hemp and rope around me so that if the worst comes to the worst, I can be we stopped. We can retrieve your corpse. Well, I can be stopped <laughs> just before the pit. We'll bury um, her with her favourite bow. Is there, are, there, are there other people in I'm the pit? I'm going to say anchoring some hemp and rope, tying it around yourself and, and then going chucking really yourself fast. down is, a, is perhaps a little much. You've got this, Marilyn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. I'm Don't fine. Okay, it. okay. Go, I'm go, just going to just do it. Okay, Leap of faith. So Slide of faith. Well, I, hey, I've got wild shape to leap off at the end if I need to. And also, cat, you trust your co- your comrades yeah. so much yes. that we will save you. We'll think so much. Much. <laughs> okay, uh, just I'm make really going to miss Meryl Wynn. Make me a deck saving throw, please. Christmas okay. won't be the same. <laughs> okay, that's a seven. <laughs> oh. You stack it pretty hard. <laughs> yeah! Just like boom. Oh, oh, that was gonna be your Legolas sliding oh, down the staircase moment. Yeah! Um, <laughs> you you basically you been, slide, it would have worked if I'd had a bow. <laughs> you smash into the, the back balance, of yeah. Yeah. You smash into the back of the Paladiniata at a rate of precisely sixty feet per round. Oh, um, no. Are you so riding, just riding it down? Just like... strange loving it down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Exactly. yeah, you're now just like <laughs> <laughs> What is everyone else doing? Egbert, what are you up to? Oh no. Um oh, no. I've never used it before, but apparently I have. Here we go. Here we go, friends. But apparently I have. <laughs> Strap in, everybody. Apparently, apparently I, I have, as if it wasn't up to Mike. <laughs> <laughs> apparently I have. I have Misty Step, uh, which allows oh. me to teleport up to oh, thirty yeah. feet to an unoccupied space <laughs> that I can see. You've got <laughs> this. Yeah. You can believe <laughs> I got it at level five, apparently. <laughs> My mind is reeling thinking of all the opportunities that <laughs> <laughs> teleporting could have been useful. We, we can have... start an entire <laughs> spin off series. <laughs> yeah, where we just revisit <laughs> situations. <laughs> yeah. Each mic is reminded of this. But <laughs> if Eggman had yeah, teleported. Yeah, like, to try and stop it from walking into a trap when he could have just been like, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember when I wingsuited out that thing? Imagine if Egbert just teleported down. <laughs> oh yeah! By the way, folks, I can teleport. <laughs> did I, I not? It. Did I not mention? So what I would like to do? I assume I'm still sprinting. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to do a big classic Egbert drop kick, but in the middle of the drop kick, I'm going to teleport 30 feet towards Oof. the Palladiata yeah. and drop kick it directly off the grease slide and into safety. Probably, yes, so probably like removing it directly from underneath Merylwyn <laughs> and, and out, you know, slotting out. Like when you pull a, a tablecloth under the A tablecloth, the yeah. Are there, are there people on that side? There, uh, uh, there are people down at the bottom, right? But it's on a big, long grease slide, right? Hill. So, I mean, there are people, like, 
lining the route as if they're watching, you know, like rally racing or yeah. whatever. Well, people the watching rally racing know that they have to. They, they, they keep it clear at the they bottom for the all the people that have to get out. It's like a water slide. If you don't stand at the end of a water slide, that's. Basically. You do if the water slide ends in a tickle pit. Yeah, I know. Yeah. There are hundreds <laughs> of people at the bottom of this slide. It? Can you arc it over the people? Let's find out. Let's you can do it, it but you got this. <laughs> okay, you teleport. Up to 30 feet to an unoccupied yep. space that you can see. I would now like you to make me a strength athletics check yes, to, um, kick. to... I'm kind of, like, I want to make a Mortal Kombat reference here, but I don't know whether, like, Raiden or Liu Kang is the better one. <laughs> okay. I think that's, this is a Liu Kang. That's a, it is more of 18 a, yeah. plus 4. Uh, so 22. Yes, yes, yes. Prudence, shout at people to clear the way with your I use thaumaturgy to create a terrifying voice from beyond and okay. I'm like clear the area <laughs> foolish mortals or something yeah. <laughs> okay pretty good um i mean it it like it works uh the yeah, the the splash zone as it were <laughs> um uh like clears and people just like a war and this paladin yate kind of goes whomph and a lot of black powder kind of spills from its sides like someone's dropped a bag of flour. Yeah. But actually it kind of like bounces back up, such is the force of this kick. Uh, and then it explodes with a deafening roar. Um, like, I'm going to say approximately 100 odd people who are still like, who just haven't quite kept up with what's going on and have maybe had a bit too much to drink already on this um this sun's turn. Do run toward the explosion, <laughs> be like, food! Um, but then they're knocked back onto their feet by a massive explosion. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, Bill pushes goes, another <gasps> paladin yard to tell us. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> yes! Literally, that is what I was opening my mouth to say. Uh, Bill goes, here goes another one! Yeah! And just, just hucks it down. At this point, the crowd is, is dispersing quite rapidly because they realise that the paladin yards are explosive. Uh, and you hear a bunch of people being like, I liked it better when there were sweets. What's this all about? <laughs> maybe there'll be sweets later. La, 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 la. Maybe this um, one has sweets. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, yeah. There there are... I'm going to roll a D100. Um, <laughs> this is how many people are wiped out in the blast. There are still 26 people who are like, this one's probably sweets. Um, and they're waiting to, to, to eat delicious candy, thinking that they're going to get the, the lion's share because the competition is uh, significantly reduced. Are you doing anything to stop this one, or are we just going to let it go off? <laughs> yeah, we got it. We got it. We can't let it. Can't it, let it go off. I mean, I didn't where, have any where, ideas where for the I? first one. I don't have any where? more for this one. <laughs> Can Eggbert teleport again? <laughs> where, where am I now? Uh, you are. Oh yeah, you're in the tickle pit. I'm in the tickle pit. Okay. There are, there's no one there to tickle you. It's no, quite everyone's left. Okay. So, oh gosh, can I do anything? If I'm standing by the side of the thing, can I just not just use like, I don't know. Just grab it on the way past. Yeah. If I'm like, yeah. you know, can I just lean in, and, there lean there in and just yeah. grab that paladin yata? I, you make I, me a strength saving throw. Okay. In in all this, where are the spikes? Oh, they're like all around, right you. before the um the tickle pit. Did I? So I've cleared the spikes. I I managed to get around the spikes. Deck saving throw, please. You didn't get meat, meat ground. <laughs> I'm sorry to put oh, my soul in space. Meat grinded. <laughs> Okay, so that's a 12. Yeah. You do have inspiration. <laughs> I'll give it a go. go Here's okay. the, uh, looking at on the plus side, all we have to do is like... No, that, I'll stick with the 12. <laughs> the phrase is still appropriate because now it's Meryl when is meat yeah, grinder. Yeah, Meryl when's meat grinder. <laughs> Meryl when is meat grinder. Okay, it's only seven points of, of damage. Wow. <laughs> but you... You, you tasted yeah. your own medicine, Meryl. Yeah, you're like, uh, 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 ooh. Yeah. Uh, it's okay, I appreciate my craft more. Does anyone else want to go? I've got something. My, just, <laughs> my strength is my, enough to work. <laughs> oh, I why love it. it. Go, Prudence. Why is it Prudence? No, 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 just as Bill launches another one, because I want to no. know what Prudence yeah. has done. Is <laughs> right. Doing. All right, I got something for this. All I right. cast. While Prudence is doing Red, whatever this is, I, I incapacitate Bill. Bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dom and I yeah, both nice choke guys. out. What are you doing up there? Yeah, <laughs> Just uh, the conveyor belt. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll deal with Prudence first, and then we'll go to the, okay. the incapacitating Bill, the, uh, the, the gunpowder menace. All right. 
Spellcasting, uh, Hunger of Hadar, 150 oh, feet range. <laughs> I create a gateway to the dark between the stars, a 20 foot radius sphere of blackness and bitter cold <laughs> on the slide below where the pal- uh, Paladin Yata is heading for. Okay. Okay. Dark so the Paladin Yata is going to go, to go into the, go into the darkness. going to enter the, stars. the darkness between the stars in the 20 foot spherical void. Of blackness in and bitter cold. Incredible. And then let's see what happens. <laughs> Do I need to make a, um, a saving throw or anything, or does it just happen? I will tell you. Uh, 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 um, the void is filled with a cacophony of soft whispers and slurping noises. No, we don't need that. Can be heard up to 30 feet away. No light, magical or otherwise, can illuminate the area. And creatures fully within the area are blinded. So it's a blind pin- piñata, everybody. Uh, it's a the- dex save. Oh, um, okay. Thank you. Because what is the <laughs> dexterity on an in, in an inanimate uh, pinata? Probably Wait. minus loads. Uh, it goes in. Okay, that's, great. That's, okay, um, it slides so, in to the. Yes, yeah, sliding in. Boom. If your um, if if the paladin you just kicked off into the sunset were here, um, he would uh, be reminded um, by the soft whispers and slurping noises of spaghetti night during at, at the order. <laughs> Uh, back when he was an initiate when they were still allowed to whisper to one another um, but yes uh, you basically you detonate a part of far off space yes. um, nice. you feel a strange kind of eldritch buzzing in the base of your skull uh, where normally you're used to feeling like a, a nice like paternal tentacle pat on the back yeah um you just get a what the hell oh. in Cthulhu it's like ah oh. sorry <laughs> You kind of, there's no response, but you get the feeling that Cthulhu is withdrawing the uh, the mental link between you in a kind of like, oh. kind of way. like oh, no. he's opening Throw up bombs his seaweed into paper. my pocket dimension. Oh no, yeah. Cthulhu dad is mad. Everyone, I just thought you'd like to know. <laughs> we'll um, get over it. Bill, meanwhile, is like, let's get another one. Stop him, Stop him, Dob. Stop um, him, Dob. Um, just... I, I, yeah. <laughs> Corazon and I do that. We you sleep hold him. Corrupted artery. Just... We don't have Check to sleep. Out. Choke him out. <laughs> uh, I just, I while Corazon's doing that, I just lift the 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 paladin Yata out of Bill's hands, certainly away from his cigar, um, <laughs> so he doesn't drop it onto the grease slide as he passes out. It's a wonder he yeah. hasn't gone up already, to be honest. Yeah. That's true. Mate, just make me a strength athletics check, please. Corazon to choke him out. Um, oh, nice. We'll see 19. how this goes. Nineteen plus one. Okay. Uh, yes, I think in that case it is fairly simple for you to to pick up the paladin yata as he sort of drops it from his arms which are going limp quite quickly <laughs> uh, before he loses consciousness he just turns and looks up at you Corazon and goes oh good you're here your shift's starting <laughs> and he drops off um, nice. and the people Take of Inkwater are very very confused um, Marisa turns up and goes well, that's I think that's uh, with any luck that's everything I think you might have just saved Inkwater <laughs> Again, I think you mean saved in quarter. Again, the sequel. that's right. Yeah, we're the Oxventurers, the actual ones. I say. Marisa raises her voice and goes, "It's true!" And the whole town goes, <gasps> and they start wildly cheering. And she yeah. puts her hands up for quiet and goes, "And and and they promise to get more wine for the toast." And oh. she looks, she gestures at you to be like, "And here it is." Oh I st- my. I step forward and I say... Oh no, the consequences. I step forward and I say, Friends, it's true, it's us, the Oxventurers. We've come back on what is pr- approximately, give or take, the anniversary of our great liberation of this town. And we have come with what is possibly an even greater gift, a new tradition. I want That's you all right. to go I into say, your homes. I my Beeple's outfit. <laughs> I want you all to go into your homes and bring out your wine. And together, as a town, we will fill a new cask and share it together as brothers and sisters in what I think is the true spirit of Sun's Turn. And also, I know you missed out on the sweets, but check this out! And I swing a big stick into Egbert so that he... (laughs) And I throw the candies I had from earlier into the crowd. Okay. um, Dom, I want you to make me a charisma persuasion roll. Uh, with advantage, 
Uh, and I also want you to make me another strength attack against Egbert. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that was a 19 on the uh, persuasion without my modifiers. Lovely, fine. The, nice. the people are people are absolutely going for it. I'm uh, imagining Amazon's... their blended wine of all the wines. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's a local delicacy. And, and, a, and yeah. that's a 17 as well on the uh, on the Egbert. Incredible. Um, abdominal Egbert... damage. Egbert produces um, a whole town's worth of candy <laughs> from, uh, from, <laughs> from his guts. Candy just fountain like pebble dashing people with candy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, just like really like Godzilla laser beaming. Technicolor <laughs> rainbow of candies. Um, just taste the rainbow, yeah. everyone. Um, <laughs> people fill their pockets, rush to their homes, get, grab whatever wine, ale, uh, spirits they have. Um, and uh, quickly uh, making a new vast receptacle, they create the largest dirty pint that hey. Geth has ever seen. Inkwater Punch, I believe Ink- it's called. Mm, delicious. Ink it's now known punch. as Inkwater oh, Punch. And uh, um, Egbert, like maybe give it, maybe give it some heat, and I'll just pop my finger in and flavour it with sort of cinnamon and citrus. Okay. And cloves and yeah. Mm. I mean, I'm still yeah. vomiting sweets at this point, probably. Like and a I, sprinkler, one of those yeah. sprinklers <laughs> goes left to right. Vomit some sweets in there too. Can't <laughs> okay, you you make a mulled dirty pint, and the entire town of Inkwater, children included, gets absolutely wrecked. Oh, yes. Yeah. No. Um, and but yum, everyone yum. has a great time. Uh, the party carries on until um, the sun starts to peak over the horizon. There's um, an exclusive set from the Beeples. <laughs> this, um. Sure, why not? <laughs> No, I, um, I entertain they everyone. Ask for an encore performance of Let It Be's. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, we don't Marilyn. do encores, actually. Please, so. please, be. Uh, she Love was that one just as well. Uh, be, <laughs> if you know <laughs> what I mean. Marilyn, what were you about to say? I entertain everyone, not with beeples, but Close by magic. turning into a cat Yay. and then turning into a bear and okay, then turning then into a cat. Okay. But yeah, first, yeah, when yeah. you turn into a cat, they're like. That's a cat, yeah, yeah. I okay. take a deep draft of but like I do, punch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do like little tricks and then I do a spin in the air and then I'm like, pfft, bear. Nice. Like, do little a- acrobatic checks. Um, the Beeples, meanwhile, up on stage, hear the applause and are absolutely convinced it's for them mm-hmm. and yep. won't let this bit go because it's yep. clearly a hit. <laughs> exactly. Yep. And yep. the yep. way yep. she looked was exactly like a bee. <laughs> Um, and that is the story of how you saved Inkwater again. Hooray! 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 Awesome. Thank you so much, Johnny, for another wonderful, fun Oxventure. Thank you, folks, for watching. I hope you're having a lovely festive period, whatever you're doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and stay tuned for more exciting Oxventure news. Um, we're going to play you a little teaser, a little clip, a little teasing little amuse bouche little amuse bouche exactly of our upcoming uh, Oxventure spin-off um, so Luke if you want to tell people a bit more about what's coming up yeah um, so we are we are doing a new tabletop uh, series it's going to be GM'd by me with Johnny as a player we've already filmed the first session and it's absolutely spectacular I, I, I cannot wait uh, for everyone to see it um, it is set in a distant corner of Geth in the far future and we are playing Blades in the Dark which is an absolutely stupendous uh, thief simulator game. It's mm-hmm. about a, a, a gang of rogues trying to make it in a in a tough town. And we're uh, all playing new characters. New characters. New art. New everything. It's I'm it's playing tremendous. Binbag. <laughs> no, no, he's not playing. No, he's like, do not, not unsubscribe. He is not playing <laughs> Binbag. Binbag does not appear. <laughs> uh, yeah, here's a trailer. In the land of Geth, many years in the future. The haunted city of Volisport. The city is a concentration of wealth and of crime. Five strangers respond to a mysterious letter. I'm Barnaby the Butcher, Fortescue the Third. Casimir Jones. Zilla is a cutter. She's a fighter, brawler. I'm the, the third Barnaby Fortescue, not the third butcher. I'm the first butcher in my family. A former prize fighter. Edvard Lumiere. And I'm an inventor, a tinkerer. A maker of things. Lilith Capellanaga. I am a criminal born and bred. So I can actually commune with ghosts. But the third, Barnaby Fortescue. To begin a new life of crime. You all got a letter, right? Crowsfoot is no joke. A coin 
That's a lot of money. Listen, nothing bad has ever happened to me in my entire life. I don't think it's going to start now. Careful with this that. This is a piece of junk. Piece of junk? It's broken. It's, it's a on genius, brilliant invention that's going to change the is world. It meant to be Stop on, setting it on fire. It's meant to be on fire because it's on fire. I need you to do me a favour. Uh, well, I say a favour, I'm compelling you. I need you <laughs> to... <laughs> <laughs>